Hey, it's Jen with Sentimental Wood Art. Now, if you've seen my videos in the past, you know that I'm pretty strong on the scroll saw. And my go-to is my wooden pet names. They just grab my heart. I just love animals. But when it's a blistery cold day out like today and I'm not out walking dogs, since I am also a dog walker, I'm down in my shop working. Now, this week's video is gonna have a little bit of a twist. My husband and I got a CNC machine for Christmas, and I just am not there yet. I still like my scroll saw. So we're gonna do a comparison. We're gonna make some luminaries. I'm gonna do one on the scroll saw, and he's gonna do one on the CNC machine. So this year will be a journey of us learning Fusion 360 and working on the CNC machine and coming up with different creative projects where I'll do some on the scroll saw and some on the CNC. So let's roll up our sleeves and put back our hair and get started. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm sure you noticed the background noise in my last video. I've got a lurker and she always gets up high and then can't get down. Oh, what are you doing? Don't go in there. We had a leak last year and we had to cut a hole in the ceiling. I'm going to have to go get my cat. So this is the design for my February luminaries. Now we did get a CNC for Christmas. I am not that proficient at the CNC, so I'm still going to go to my old standby, which is the scroll saw. My husband has been practicing in the Fusion 360 on how to do designs for the CNC. So he did this one. I did this one on Inkscape. He is going to do two of my luminary palettes on the CNC, and I'm gonna do two on the scroll saw. And we're gonna give it a comparison. Now, I don't know that he can double face tape two boards together like I have here to make it work on the CNC. So it might take a little longer. That would be an interesting experiment too, is to see how long it takes on the CNC versus how long it takes on the scroll saw. Because it took him, I wanna say about an hour to design this. It's more of trying to find the path for the bit that takes a little bit longer on this CNC or Fusion 360. If you saw in that last shot, I was working on the drill press, trying to get drill holes so I can thread my blade for my scroll saw. As I was looking closer at this heart, there's really not connection here in between these two squigglies. I'm worried about how delicate that's going to be outside in my luminary. There's a lot of places for this guy to wobble. We'll see how it goes when I start to cut. moment of truth. Which one was done on the CNC and which one was done on the scroll saw? My husband switched these around while I was out walking my puppy dogs. And now I wanted to see if I could tell the difference. 
the time was about the same. It took him four hours, oh no, eight hours, because he couldn't do two at a time. And it took me, oh, it only took me about two hours to do mine. I'm gonna come to think of it. I did them in 30 minute increments, just like the CNC machine. So he had to do his in sections. So he did this section, this section, this section, in this section. So if you get close, can you tell the difference? Mm, 